Welcome to another video on the MD, the Speed MD02 uh, rotator controller. Uh, this time we're looking at the upgrading, the firmware upgrade um, of the Speed, and uh, from time to time there's firmware updates. So here we're going to have a look at it. Uh, there's a manual that uh, you can get um, from the website uh, which describes the firmware update. However, that doesn't really line up 100%. So hopefully this video will help you. Uh, firstly, uh, we need access to the back of the controller and the back of the controller has got uh, quite a number of um, plugs on it. Uh, so let's identify uh, the plugs that uh, or the items that we actually need. So first there is the PR switch and that needs to be in the off position. You can see that here. A PR switch needs to be set to off which is on the right hand side. And then we need to have COM0 because into COM0 is where we need to connect uh, our cable. Now for this upgrade you need a serial cable. This is the typical USB to serial converter. So first we go and we switch the PR switch into the off position um, like so and uh, the next step is we're going to plug in our cable, the USB to serial cable into uh, COM0 port. Um, now that that's in once we fire up our firmware update software called Flash Magic, um, we need to click on the settings button. You can see it uh, circled red there. Um, we need to, it's up in the toolbar. Um, we need to adjust all the settings um, um, appropriately um, for the update of the firmware. So the first one, uh, the first tab we got there is the hardware. Got to make sure that is set like what we've got here, 12 megahertz and uh, keep RTS asserted. Uh, the communications tab, um, got to be set to no echo, just like you've got it here. Um, and uh, the, <clears throat> the last tab that we've got is the timings tab that uh, needs to be set. And uh, you can see the timing here. So that's very important. Um, once you've done that, um, you click the OK button on it. And, um, and then uh, the settings are done. Now the next step is uh, we've got to select the right uh, processor. So click the change button and uh, make sure you select the uh, 1796 uh, LC LPC 1796. Uh, click the OK button and there we go. Um, we also got to make sure we got the right COM port selected um, and the right board right, which is uh, 115200. Um, and we click on the browse button uh, to go and pick the firmware file. You will have downloaded that firmware file from whoever has provided it to you. So. We pick the firmware firmware file uh, highlight um, then click the open button and uh, there we go we've loaded the firmware um, now the next step after that is to click the start button and uh, here we go click the start and um, we'll find out whether it's working or not so when you see the message that says connecting to device and it comes up for a while that means there's a connection problem. Now, I've deliberately shown here uh, what a connection problem looks like. So that's the connection problem. And that means there's something wrong with your connection if you see that. So that's your cable <clears throat> that goes to uh, between the computer and the, um, um, and the MD02. I'm um, just going to show you quickly what version we're using um, and uh, we go to the about dialog and here we can see what the flash magic version is that one is 13.45 uh, um, so just to give you a comparison from uh, 2021 uh, so you know what I'm using um, in this particular video. Of course, um, when you've got the proper connection, you won't see that. You will see uh, programming there. There's a message that says programming. That'll run for a while, and uh, after that's run through, um, the firmware will be in there. So um, once you and that there's there's uh, not much of a message afterwards. It'll just finish. So once you've done the firmware upgrade, uh, you got the firmware down into the unit. What you need to do is uh, go back to the back and uh, switch that programming switch and uh, switch it back to uh, switch it back to the PR position and uh, then uh, your rotator is ready to be switched back on and of course as soon as you uh, turn the switch on 
uh, the rotator will come up and it will show the firmware version. So take great notice and make sure you've got the right version firmware. Thank you for watching.